the railroad. I kept sending synths to the surface hoping someone would help them. I hoped the railroad got to some of them, but I never knew for certain. Hmm. Why are you helping synths? At first, I just wanted to see if I could get away with it. It was a challenge, you, you know? But then I realized the synths are really just like us, except without any freedom. I decided to help the ones that wanted to escape so they can have a better life. You saved a lot of sense. So much to take in. But wait, with you in the picture, I have this idea to rescue a lot of sense at once. But we'll need help. Where's he working now? Right, let's go to the West Atrium. Probably best to talk about something else right now. You know my father thinks it's a living hell on the surface. But that can't be right. Heck, you look positively normal to me. Wait, does that mean he's my grandson? <laughs> I'm not sure if we could ever make the surface actually a decent place to live. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't at least try to help, you know? Liam. Good. He's here. C-114. It's me. Sir, do you require something? It's okay, C-1. He's a friend. He's with the railroad. Meeting here is dangerous. And you bring a stranger. You. How do I know we can trust you? Can I, uh... Because the members of the railroad have dedicated their lives to fight for your freedom. I find that hard to believe. That's what the railroad does, C1. He's from the surface. If you insist we speak in front of him, do so quickly. Right now. How many synths want to escape, C1? The ones I know for certain? Thirteen. That'll take forever. Let's free those thirteen all in one go. I would do anything for my people. But how do we get them to the teleporter? It's no good. The old maintenance tunnels that lead there are always sealed by the SRB. Hmm. If I can find a way to open those doors, could you get your synths to the teleporter room? Yes. We'll talk later. Someplace more secure. Just a few high security doors, right? Controlled by cutting edge SRB security tech. Yeah. A head on hack is the sucker play. So we go at them sideways. You're willing to help, right? I can't do this alone. It depends on what you need. Our core security architecture hasn't fundamentally changed from the old CIT days. The original security program was called Code Defender. Revolutionary stuff. We still have terminals running version 1, mothballed in storage. With some persuasion, I can get an old terminal to interface with the new security terminals. Enough to open doors, at least. Problem is, I can't even crack version 1. So I need a good old-fashioned username and a password. And that's nowhere to be found in the Institute. But if you could get me a pre-war admin password from the surface, I could log right in. I'll find it for you. That's great. Unfortunately, the obvious place to look won't work. The CIT ruins were picked clean years ago, but some of the admins had to live off campus. Ask your friends in the railroad. I need those login credentials. Okay. Well, let me see. Can I try to get Virgil's thing? Is there a way to get? throws away or not, but I'm gonna go ahead and just do this one, I guess. Almost done. Just need to tighten up this primary drive servo. That's the third primary drive breakdown this month. As far as I'm concerned, the phase out on these older models can't come soon enough. Oh, I don't know. Most of them have lasted long past their projected lifespans. If you ask me, they were built pretty well. well I can't argue with that. Even so, I'm ready to see the full Gen 3 roll out. There we go. All set. Unit, you can return to duty. 
Thanks again. Of course. We don't usually welcome outsiders. I hope you can appreciate your good fortune. We're all looking forward to working with you. Hi, Doc. They weren't kidding. You really are here. Well, all right. I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much, I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? Finding Sean? I just wanted to find my son and keep him safe. Now that you've found him, I hope you're proud of the great man he grew up to be. Now, I'll give you a quick rundown of the facilities division. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So, now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? I'm just looking around. I see. Well, please do mind what you touch. Sensitive equipment here, not like Topside. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. I don't, really, I don't trust this place. I guess you could have known father as we have. Something's off about this place. Everyone's excited about the new synth project. When are you going to tell me about this? I don't know. I don't know what to make of this place. I don't. I kind of don't. Still, don't believe that's Sean. But I guess it could be considered Sean. Because I mean, that'd be a pretty good plot right there. She's been at it for over two hours. What is she doing? Excuse me, doctor. Ah, it's you. You're here then. Yes, yes. I know who you are. We all do. While I'm sure Father is very happy that you're here, I do hope it doesn't interrupt our work. Well, that's insulting. Um, I'm sorry. Not my intention. There's just quite a bit going on right now, and your arrival has the potential to throw things off schedule. Oh, before I forget, let me see that Pip-Boy of yours. I've been told to install a Courser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access, with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. Um... Uh, I guess. Thank you. Uh, I'm sure that'll come in handy. Given that the relay is the only way to access the Institute, handy is something of an understatement. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Now, unless there's something else, I really do need to get back to work. I'm good for now. Thanks. All right. <sighs> Uh, I don't, mm, this place is just not cool in my eyes. This place is way too not what I was expecting. That's a bad thing. I guess it's better than just fighting everybody, but this place is not. I don't like this place at all. Like at all, at all. To knock You're some here. heads together. Glad you made it. They're dragging their feet sin. on the targeting package upgrades it's I asked for. Maybe I should take some courses with me. You know, send a message. Mm. Please don't. There's enough friction as it is between us and pretty much all Doctor. the other departments. Doctor, so, here you are. Justineo, acting director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be up front with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite your relation to father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. There won't be any issues, will there? I guess we'll find out. Indeed. Now, Father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the synth retention. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped synths that are hiding among the human population on the surface. Let them go. If the synths want to be free, you should let them. Synths do not want. They might look like human beings, but they're machines. 
as to why they're escaping? That matter is currently under investigation. Our main instrument is the Courser, a third-generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Coursers hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the Institute. They are highly self-sufficient, trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our Coursers are relentless. I killed them. But I gather you know all this, since you've encountered one already. In fact, I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. Why does it matter? If there is some defect in Courser combat programming, then it must be identified and corrected. I suppose I'll have to ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. As if we don't have enough problems. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. I'm good for now. Thanks. Okay. Are there any machines since can malfunction? I just wish it didn't happen so often. I just... This place is just not... Not... At all, what I expected. It's been like a big, like you know, dungeon type thing where you have to like fight a bunch of enemies. But no. I thought all the surface people were like monsters. I just don't. I don't. Uh, this place is so sketchy. They want you to like like this place, like if it's not a bad place. But I can already tell it's gonna be a bad place. They're gonna do something that's gonna like screw us over or something. I don't know. On batch 274. Not yet. I've been reviewing Wonder if I can find that cure. He's eager to get that going, so I've had to put everything else to one side. I wonder how the Warwick family is doing. Young I don't care about yours. Oh, ten years old, but so good to have you here. Remarkable. Dr. Clayton Holdren, head of the so bioscience there, don't you think? I can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. It's truly amazing. Uh, not why I'm, I'm sure it's fascinating, but that's not why I'm here. Of course. I completely understand. Before you go, at least let me give you a brief overview of what we do here. I promise I'll keep it short. As the name implies, the bioscience division specializes in fields of Can study you such as Virgil? botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. Yeah, I can't imagine anything more exciting than fake gorillas. Speaking only for myself, I find them fascinating. Of course, I might be a little biased. <laughs> I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is, but I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? I'm not going to. I doubt it. I doubt it. I just don't think I'd fit in. It's a big decision, I know. But it's also a... In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Uh-huh. Okay, uh... You mentioned medical care. In that case, you'll want to enter... He's our top biologist. Uh-huh. Dr. Volkert works in the infirmary. Just... You won't find better medical care anywhere else in the... Okay, well, that's not what I... Good to see you again. Did you need something? Virgil. <sighs> I'm good for now. Uh, take care then. I guess I don't have to talk to Virgil again. But now what? I talked to everybody, right? Did I turn off the interferometer? Sorry, but I'm too preoccupied with chit chat. Dr. Holdren's synth gorilla project is showing promising results. That thing is creepy. Do we really need all these coursers roaming the halls? Hmm. I feel like that I should find Virgil's thing, but I don't know where it would be at. I don't know, but I think I'm gonna call it here, and then next time when I come back, we'll go ahead and uh continue forward into the quest so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next session